Selected. Screen recording. Button. Galactic, col Galactic colonies. Untold. Double tap to open. Use. Untold. Untold RPG. Continue. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the New Def Gaming Top 10 Accessible Games of 2020 Review by me, Michael Gray, a.k.a. NDG. I am so happy that um, all of you have supported my channel and continue to watch my videos, and I've dropped some pretty honking long videos on there for those of you who are interested in knowing who the winner of our 2020 best accessible games are so and you'll probably see on the screen if you are able to see um print on the screen in text the winner is on the screen so sorry to spoil alerts but for those of you who don't know who the winner of 2020 is I'm going to, in this short video, give you as much of a short review as a really, like, bare-bones kind of assessment of what's the best accessible games of 2020. There are several honorable mentions that I'm going to go into, and then I'll get into the top 10. For my first honorable mention, I want to say that there are several good games, like Quizoid is an honorable mention. There are Dice World is an honorable mention. There are a couple more games that are really good. I didn't really get into them though. Not as much as these games as I'm going to state. So let's just get down to it. Coming in at number 10 is going to be, let's see who I have at number 10. And, and I have the notes here. Okay, and I'll let you know if there's an update and I'm gonna spell it out for you so you don't have to worry about me putting an excessively long link in the description. The number 10 game is Night Commander. Uh, great developer here, and he's recently done an update. Check out Apple Viz's review of it. It's a great game. That's Knight, N-I-G-H-T. Second word, Commander. That's the best way to pull it up on the App Store. Knight Commander at number 10. Great game. I, I flipped that game. If you ever know what the term flip means, it's like when you take a video game, and you play it so long that you get so much money, so much stuff that you're just in it. You're just getting close to a Google in um, numbers. <laughs> and I was getting really close to a Google because I would keep playing that game all day long to try to get as much as possible. It's completely accessible. And uh, by the way, when I say accessible, I mean you can play these games whether you are sighted or blind. You do not need any vision at all. Every game on this list can be played by a person if you are totally blind. And it's also extremely fun for everyone else too, so I'm not being prejudicial in that sense. These games should be supported by everyone. In, my, in the community, uh, I like to support game developers who make these type of games uh, for me. They're accessible, they're fun. It reminds me of all the things I used to do when I played a lot of games on my phone and I just love these games. Please support all these developers. All right, so we've got let's go on to our next one. Okay, so number nine, we're going to have Nano Empire. Cassie, whoops, sorry. So Nano Empire is a sci fi game. And if I didn't describe Night Commander, Night Commander is also a kind of building sci-fi game. So I should be giving you a little bit of the genres here. So sorry about that. So Night Commander is a building genre, uh, sci-fi genre kind of thing. As is Nano Empire is more of a 
another building game, sci-fi and action. It's got a little bit of action. It's got a really nice sci-fi RPG feel to it. And it comes in at number nine. That is Nano Empire. N-A-N-O. Second word, Empire. E-M-P-I-R-E. Okay, and number eight is going to be Audio Wizards. Oh my goodness, this is a great game. It's a bit of a shooter. It's a bit of a puzzle game. It's extremely fun. It puts a lot of pressure on you, and you've got to, like, you know, pat your, your head and rub your tummy at the same time. But it, <laughs> exactly, Sweetie Bell said. But it's a fun game. Thank you, uh, the developers of Audio Wizard. Um, they definitely gave me a lot of positive feedback for my review. And again, I'm not going to drop a million links, and I've reviewed every one of these games on my channel. And if I haven't, I will review it on New Death Gaming in the future. For now, um, I just want to give you the name so you can download these games, purchase them, support the developers. So that is Nano Empire. Number seven is a newcomer to my list. Didn't have it last year. And that's going to be City of Blood. That's C-I-T-Y-O-F. B-L-O-O-D, City of Blood. That is a great game. It's really exciting, crosses a few lines, which I love. I love it when developers take risk. There are several games in this genre series. Uh, I think there's a City of Blood that's like fantasy. There's a City of Blood that's like uh, medieval uh, RPG style. There's several of them, check them out. They're all great. They got a little paywall action. They got a little bit of um, pay to play, but it's worth it. I've dropped a few uh, dozen bucks or so on it. I enjoyed it a great deal. I'm not afraid to drop money on any game because I like to support developers. All right, that's it. So that was number seven, City of Blood. All right. Number six is a great game. Uh, made by a really good developer. I'm really surprised that they never brought an update to the market. I, I feel like that was a miss. This game has got good production quality. It's got fun mechanics. They played it off more like an experiment, but it went right. So why not bring a update to the market? Crafting Kingdom is an awesome game just could have used a little bit more updates and polish and new things to do. Otherwise, this thing would have been higher up on my top 10. So I'm going to get, that's where Crafting Kingdom is going to stay. By the way, I've spent hundreds of hours playing Crafting Kingdom. So this is a huge success, if you ask me. Okay, so. Oh, now this is one of my favorite games. At number five, we have Galactic Colonies, G-A-L-A-C-T-I-C, -C, second word, Colony, C-O-L-O-N-I-E-S, Galactic Colonies, I think that's the game. Check uh, Galactic Colonies, Galactic Colony, I think it's Galactic Colonies. The developer whose beautiful mind developed this game is amazing and i should have developers names i'm a little unprepared here but i love galactic colonies it is fun it is deep it is a treasure trove of developing your economy your building your resources your manufacturing yes it's a builder yes it's an rpg yes it's everything in between it has music it has daily quests it doesn't hold back the complexity. It gives it all to you. This is a game that if you put enough time in it, you can really feel like you are not losing anything due to blindness or low vision when it comes to the enjoyment of a game. And that's really why the games that are higher up on this particular top 10 are higher 
not because they have fancy graphics, fancy music. No, I'm rating these games on what you are doing to challenge me as a gamer. Just because I'm blind doesn't mean I want a simple, silly game. I want excitement. I want difficulty. I want depth. I want replay value. I want paywalls. I want pay to play. I want interaction between myself and other players. I want chat. I want the ability to come in and play a different game the next week. I want updates. I want these games to be games that you put your heart into as a developer. Because I'm gonna put my wallet behind you. You put your heart. I'll bring my wallet. I'll drop money into your game. I'm not afraid to drop a few hundred dollars into a well-made game. Any time. All right. And I'm gonna have a tie here for number five. Just bumping number five, Galactic Colonies, is going to be Blind Quest. It's going to be the tie for fifth place. Now, partly because I never number things well when I'm using my Victor, but also because Blind Quest is beautiful. Sound effects are great. The atmosphere is great. Great, 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 great. Nine out of nine. The problem with Blind Quest is it's got a high degree of difficulty. You need to focus on this game, and you need to really practice it. It's a learning experience all of its own. You're going to have to really learn how the combat works. I would say take about two to three weeks to learn how to play this game. You will thank yourself. It is great. Uh, I haven't taken the time to learn how to play it properly, but it fits all the criteria uh, on this list, and it comes in tied for fifth place. Okay, number four is a game that my bestie and me play constantly. Uh, it is Life Simulator. And I've talked about this game all over the communities. Life Simulator is a great game. Yes, it can be a bit repetitive, monotonous, um, but they drop so many updates. They always fix what you ask them to fix. They are always willing to take a chance with cool, cool, cool content. They've got, I mean, they're the first ones that had the bat flu as one of the things that you had to beat up, you know. Um, and then you can become a doctor, a Nobel Prize winning scientist, a firefighter. You can be anything in Life Simulator and the gameplay replay value is a trillion. It's crazy. And Life Simulator is a game anybody can play it's not violent. It's not just one genre. It's oh, kind of a Tamaguchi kind of thing. It's very fun. It's an RPG, but it, it's kind of a builder too. God, it's got so many elements in it that are just amazing. So Life Simulator, if you haven't gone to the App Store and picked up Life Simulator, you need to get on that. Uh, please uh, bookmark yourself uh, out at least a week. You're not going to put that game down. It's ludicrously addicting. An incredibly well done game. Okay, so now we're going to get up to, I think, it's going to be the top three. So here's where we get to the, the real, real super cool games. So number three is going to be from the, the developer of this game is Jordan Key. I've got your name. Uh, this is going to be Path of Adventure. Jordan Key, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful game. Excellent. Perfect. I wouldn't change anything. There's no reason why you're not number one. There's just only so many things that could fit in a top ten. But this is probably one of this is the most perfect game you'll ever play. It's hard. It's deep. It's replay is ludicrous. It's got all the classic RPG elements and tropes. It's got cool combos and techniques. And you can beat it with all these strange tactics. It's got fun. It makes you think about it. It inspires you. It's the epitome of what the best accessible game should look like. Definitely Path of Adventure by Jordan Key. The best game of this entire year probably 
but for the purposes of my top 10, it's going to come in at, I said, number three. Uh, nothing wrong with this game. Nothing I can say should be changed. Please, another update would be great. Because I've beaten every single level in this game, and people still ask me how to beat player, how to beat different levels, like the warrior level. I've recently had a person comment how to beat the warrior level, and I forgot how to beat it because I tried to go back and work on it. Man, it's still hard, and uh, I love it. Absolutely. All right, now it's time to get to the top two. All right, number two, Home Quest. What a gorgeous, awesome, fun, deep game. Very much like Galactic Colony, very much like Nano Empire, Knight Commander, just a deep Sims-like builder. You're going to have so much fun with this game. Uh, by the way, I want to throw this out there to all you developers. What they did in this game was allow you to keep playing after you beat it. How many of you are letting us do that? A lot of you just make a stop. Please don't stop me. I'm a completionist. I want to do this game until I can't play it anymore. So this game can continue to be played after you beat it. And it kind of goes into this infinite mode, but it's not a stupid infinite mode. It's a fun infinite mode. Very great game. It's deep. It's fun. I would play this game forever, but I've beaten everything I possibly can. I'm at the point that I'm starting to stack up my money on Knight Commander style levels. I have so much loot and resources and trade goods and everything you can think of. This is a great game. Earmark yourself at least about a month. You're going to be playing this game that long. It's that great. And without any longer to wait for the number one game of 2020 is on your screen it is untold the most beautiful gorgeous perfect soundtrack with the most wonderful interior work of gameplay my only critique would be please be patient it is not an easy game but that's what i like um i love games that are not easy i love games that require me to think take notes be prepared try different strategies it's got a great continue and save system it's got places where you can get different things depending on what you do different scenarios and paths it's the most beautiful wonderful game comes in at number one and that is untold untold beauty untold secrecy untold amazingly accessible gameplay so that is all of my top 10 iOS accessible games of 2020. I hope you enjoyed this list. And as I always say to you, love yourself, each other, and always be kind. Wash your hands, socially distance, stay away from large crowds, follow the guidelines, wear your mask, please. Let's get through 2021 safely. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, and God bless all of you. Thank you. Home. Actions available. Screen recording in progress. Button. Status bar. Control center. Airplane. Flashlight. Switch button. Selected. Screen recording. Button.